Hey there, main stagers. I'm the main stage guru. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most iconic keyboard oriented Van Halen songs ever The Cradle Will Rock. What? Yes, stand by. Here it comes. If you were going to compile a list of the greatest guitarists that ever played in the rock genre, Eddie Van Halen would have to be at the top of that list. And as innovative and influential as he was as a guitarist, he was also a very accomplished keyboardist. And everybody remembers Jump, of course. But there are also songs like I'll Wait, Mine All Mine, Why Can't This Be Love, Right Now, all really great keyboard parts and really innovative keyboard sounds for the time. One Van Halen song from a keyboardist's point of view that I don't think gets that much attention is The Cradle Will Rock, and that's because most people believe that that song was done on his guitar. Now, you'd be partially right, it was done with his guitar rig, but instead of a guitar, he plugged in a Wurlitzer electric piano and ran it through his rig to get that sound. You can kind of find online the story of how that was put together and how he basically beat that keyboard into submission and broke some keys, getting that intro together. But if you listen to the song carefully, you'll find that it's mostly carried by that Wurlitzer electric piano run through his rig. So in order for me to redo that in the band that I play in, my cover band DV8, um, I had to try to reproduce that. And so in main stage, I used a third-party VI to emulate Eddie's guitar rig and used an electric piano to put that sound together. Let me show you how I did it. Okay, so I've called up my uh, main stage concert that I use uh, for DV8 with uh, all the different uh, songs that I play with them. And Cradle Will Rock is here is a very, very simplistic setup as far as, you know, it's not quite as elaborate as some of my other main stage patches. But in this particular case, I have over here an electric piano, and it's a uh, Wurlitzer Classic electric piano, and I've done a little bit of work with this. I've taken some of the bass out, I've put a little more treble in, and over in the details, I've taken and moved the decay time up so that I could get uh, that uh, compressed sound, if you will, uh, that lasts for a while. And then... I've taken this and I've run this into a third-party uh, guitar processing app called Bias Effects by Positive Grid. And uh, I found that um, with a lot of the things that I have done, both just running a guitar when I was playing a little bit of guitar with a band at one time, and now just for doing things like this, if I need to run something through the guitar amp, um, I found that this is a little easier to get that really, really good sound out of. Now, I'm certainly not a guitar player by any stretch. Uh, and so, you know, guitar players know how to get a really, really good sound out of their equipment. Uh, but uh, Bias Effect made it very easy for me to do this. I've got a little boost over here. I run that signal through a splitter, and I have it basically going through two different um, Marshall cabinets. There's a plexi and... Uh, uh, with the speakers and stuff like that. And I've got that set up in such a way that I have them coming mixed in stereo. And I keep everything in the stereo and I have a little bit of delay afterwards and things like that. And then when I want to get that that uh, flange sound, I hit this button over here and you'll see that I have um, this uh, flanger and a compressor to give me a little bit of an audio boost just for that section. And so the intro of the song sounds like this. And all I'm really doing is taking my hand and, you know, I try not to slam it because I don't want to break my chord chronos. <laughs> but uh, I'm basically just palming my hand on the keyboard and letting the, uh, the effects do the rest. So that works out pretty well. And I'm going to break this down a little bit. You know, first of all, let's just go ahead and uh, mute uh, bias effects um, so that uh, you get a sound uh, for what's really happening here. 
So I'll mute that. And then basically it's just your regular electric piano. Wurlitzer electric piano sounds like this. And so in bias effects, I'll go ahead and pull this up. I'll unmute it and bring it back up so that you can see a little bit what's going on. Um, you know, I have a boost coming in here. Without the flange effects for the, for the rest of the song, you can kind of uh, hear what's really happening in the recording. Gives it that pretty authentic feel. And then the minute that you add the flanger to it. Have you seen Junior's Grades? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so um, the way that I've been able to kind of make this playable, and you can see uh, up here on the screen, the mod, to, mod and compressor over here, that I'm actually activating that by pressing a button on the Kronos. And I was able to set that up through uh, biases, effects, routings uh, through main stage. So that was my solution for emulating the keyboard sounds for the Cradle Will Rock. Whenever I go to reproduce sounds for anything that I'm working on, the first thing I do is do some research to find out how the original artist did it in the first place. What keyboard did they use? Did they use any outboard effects or any unique things that they may have done. And what I try to do is I emulate that process using whatever I can in main stage and sometimes third-party virtual instruments. In the case of Cradle Will Rock, I haven't really been successful in putting that sound together using main stages, amplifier and cabinet emulators, or their pedal board emulator. I just wasn't happy with the sound I came out with. But I think I just need to, to try again and dig a little deeper into the options that are available. When I do get it together, it will be available along with all my other sounds at jimquesta.com. So uh, hit the subscribe button. Please hit the bell uh, so you know when I post a new video. All of my sound sets, uh, of course, are available at jimquesta.com. And uh, I appreciate you watching. Thanks. I'm the Main Stage Guru. See you next time.